With the Oscar nominations recently coming out, I thought I would give you my picks on what I believe will win at this year's Academy Awards. Before I begin, I would like to say that I have not seen every single film that has come out this year, so I will be unable to give you specific categories and specific nominations and what I, on which ones I think will win. So that means I will be unable to give you my picks for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress as I have not seen any of those films. But I do hope to see Hateful Eight, Spotlight and Steve Jobs pretty soon. But for now, these are my picks for the films that I have seen and they, like, they are my true picks to win. So starting off, for Best Cinematography, I do admit like Mad Max Fury Road like, had beautiful shots and like just gorgeous scenery and Sicario also did a good job but for, like for me, Best cinematography goes absolutely to The Revenant. Nothing has ever come close to the, like, the scenery of The Revenant. The Revenant had the most beautiful cinematography I have seen in years and it absolutely deserves it. Best original score, without a shadow of a doubt, is John Williams' score for Star Wars The Force Awakens. It's always nice to hear John Williams' score in film because his scores are so magnificent and fantastic and they're just so memorable. For best visual effects, I had a real struggle with this one as I could not pick one. So for me, it's basically a tie between Mad Max Fury Road, The Revenant, Star Wars The Force Awakens and The Martian. For best adapted screenplay, it is without a doubt The Martian. The Martian had me entertained and I, I recently got the book and I've read it and I loved it. I love the book and I love the film. Perfect adaptation. For best original screenplay, it's gotta go to Straight Outta Compton. Even though Straight Outta Compton only got nominated for one Oscar, which is a bit of a snub as it should have deserved more, the screenplay was absolutely excellent. It was the most original screenplay I have seen all year and it deserves that and that is my pick for best original screenplay. For best supporting actor, it's gotta go to Tom Hardy for The Revenant. For best actor, this one, I had a real, real, real thought about it. Because I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought about it. And like, in the previous years, Leonardo DiCaprio's performances have never really, you know, captured my imagination. But this year, he brought his absolute A-game. Like, this Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio's film, The Revenant, he gave one of the most realistic performances I've ever seen him give. Of all the other films he got nominated for, for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor, this one felt the most real, so without a shadow of a doubt, Leonardo DiCaprio is my pick to win the Best Actor for his role in The Revenant. For Best Director, my pick is Alejandro González Iñárritu for The Revenant, but, and this is just the but, if any, if any director deserved it more, it would be George Miller for Mad Max Fury Road, and I would have no shame of like Alejandro not winning and George Miller winning, because George Miller absolutely deserved it. He came back to a franchise after 30 years and gave one of the best action films of this year. And George Miller at over 70 years old is, you know, it's a pretty amazing feat he achieved this year, like for Mad Max Fury Road. It was quite an achievement. So if anyone deserves the Best Director Award, it's got to be George Miller. But my pick is Alejandro Gonzalez in too, but George Miller absolutely deserves it. And finally, for Best Picture, for me, it was a complete tie for three films. As I have said before, I have not seen all the films, so I don't know if Spotlight's good or not. As I said, as I said in a previous review, I wasn't the biggest fan of the big short, so that's out. For me, the three films that deserve Best Picture are The Martian, Mad Mastery Road, and my number one pick, The Revenant. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, be sure to click that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.